home bosses. So first of all, I want to apologize for not having made any videos for a while. And that is because I've been very, very busy with my blogs and also on KDP. So just to let you know that this situation with the lockdown is not really a reason for slowing down or for stopping to produce content. I think this in some ways has helped my my viewing figures for my blogs and has also increased my book sales. And I think that's because a lot of people are at home and they're browsing the internet and they're ordering books and things to keep themselves busy and also because they they want to find out more information. So I just want to say that as an encouragement for you not to give up and to continue making books, writing blog posts, whatever it is that you're doing from home, because now more than ever, it's a really good time to work from home. And if you can make a business and make money from working from home, then so much the better. So today I just wanted to quickly show you how to make your description for your books better and why it is important to have a good description for your books. So I just want to show you some examples. So here we've got a book, a notebook called Tiger King and Lockdown 2020 Notebook. Joe Exotic 120 page journal pad. Now First of all, I'd like to say I don't think it's a good idea to have names like this because I'm, I'm 99% certain that this is probably copyrighted or trademarked. So just to say this is not a good example because I wouldn't ever use a title like this. Um, lockdown, I think is okay to use in Amazon. So is quarantine, but I wouldn't use any other names that refer to the current situation because I think it's not very it's not very good and Amazon don't look at it as a as a good thing. There's a lot of misinformation and books that are of no scientific value whatsoever and I think Amazon are trying to avoid selling books like that. So if you can avoid the subject, I would avoid it. But I want to show you this as an example um for the description for this book. So if you see, it just says original Tiger King notepad inspired by Joe Exotic and lockdown. Now that doesn't tell me anything about this book. Would I buy this book? No, because I don't know what's inside this book. The look inside feature isn't working on this one. And also if we looked at this book from our phone, you wouldn't get the look inside feature anyway. So we have no idea what's inside this book. And I think this is really not, not a good explanation. So no, I wouldn't buy this book. Um, obviously someone might want to buy it. It's an attractive enough cover, but it's not giving the buyer a lot of information. And also don't forget that when you create a description for your book, it can be indexed in Google. So this has not much of a chance to be indexed in Google because there's not enough information. So I'll show you a better example. Now this is an example of a really long description. And again, it's not a good example to use because it's too long. Look at this. There's so much. Most people don't really read the description in detail and it's nice if you can write a long description, but I don't know whether it's necessary. So they, for example, have um, the growth journal consists of, and then it explains what you can find inside the journal. And that is good. You know, you should tell your customers what to expect from your book. But it is quite long, so I'm sure there's a way to do this a little bit shorter. But it's a good example of how you can format a nice description. You can see there's paragraphs, they've got a bullet point list or a numbered list section. So that's good. That is that is um, a good way of, 
of formatting your description. I'll show you another example as well. So this is one that hasn't really got much formatting. So it's all one block of text. Um, it gives you some description. It says it's a lovely book with colored pages and illustrations. So, but we still don't really know what is inside this book. Luckily, we've got the look inside feature. So it's okay, but it's not perfect. It doesn't tell us what's in this book. Um, it's not particularly well formatted, but it's better than the first one we saw where there was no information at all. So let's see another one. To me, this is probably the best one because it's short, but it's concise and it tells you what you're going to find in the book. The only thing I would do differently is I would add some more text. Maybe I would add what this notebook can be used for. All we know, this is a pig notebook. It's got an illustrated cover. It's 120 pages, perfect for writing. So it's not, it's, it's not a lot of information, but it's, it's everything that you need to know about the book, I guess. I would write a little bit more in the description because then it has a, you know, a better chance to rank in Google and it's just a little bit more professional to write a little bit more about the book. But it's a good example as to how it's been formatted with a bullet point list. People like to see a quick overview of what they're going to buy. So from that point of view, this is a good example, I would say. So how do we format our description for KDP? So I show you a free program that you can use online. So all you have to do is Google HTML editor free online. And when you type that into Google, the first one should be this one that comes up and you click on it and it's absolutely free to use. And then all you have to do is on this, on the left hand side here, you can type in your text and you can format it using these tabs here. And then on the right hand side, it will come up with your HTML description. So I show you how to do this as an example. Let's take one of our example. Let's take the description from this notebook. Um, so I, it's not one of my notebooks. I don't know who this is, Eleanor Whitby. So it's a lovely um, designed book. I quite like the design of this and she called it Strange Times Journal. Hashtag stay safe, hashtag stay at home. It's quite interesting and it's a little notebook and well designed. I like it. So let's see what we could do with this description here. So then we go on to our online HTML editor. We paste this here. Obviously you would paste in your own description. I'm just using this one to give as an example, but you would use your own text. But I want to show you how you can format anything that you write in here. So for example, say you wanted to make this bold. Um, so we click on here and we press bold. So now we've got a bold um, font. We can make um, give it a paragraph here. If you wanted to do uh, bullet points, you could do it like this. So you could write, for example, this journal includes and then uh, 120 pages. I don't know how accurate this is, but I'm just giving you this as an example. Um, soft matte cover. Um, for example, we could say uh, prompted um, guides. Um, let's say those three things and then we highlight them and we go on to the bullet list. So now we've got bullet points here. So can you see as I'm typing and as I'm writing something here on the right hand side, it's creating the HTML text for that. And then all we have to do when we finished our uh, description, then we can click clean, which will clean it up a bit more. I'm not actually sure what this does, but I've seen other people do this. They click clean. So 
I'm just going to do the same thing and not worry about it. But, um, you know, whatever I can do to make this better. So all we have to do then is copy and paste this. So let's try this. So then I copy this and we go over to our KDP account where we want to add the description. So then all you have to do is paste it in there and that will give you a properly formatted description. I know the HTML looks a bit strange, but when it's published, you will get a lovely description formatted the way you wanted it to look. So very, very easy. The other way to do that, and that's how I use it, is by using tangent templates. I will make another video just about tangent templates because I think it's such a fantastic software to do KDP. I think if you can only buy one software to do your KDP books, the one that I would recommend is Tangent Templates. If I had no money to buy anything other than one software, that is the one that I would buy. I think it's fantastic and I will create another video just on that. They do not have an affiliate program, so I'm not getting any benefits from telling you about it, but I just love it so much that I think you, you definitely should buy it. I mean, you don't have to. You can still create your books, um, and not have tangent templates, but it's such a good program and it does things like this for you as well. So I just thought I mentioned that this is not actually what I use. I use tangent templates, but this is what you would use if you don't have tangent templates and you want to format your, your description, then this is a cheap, well, it's a free way to do it. So I hope this has helped and I'll see you in my next video soon. Take care and stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.